All right, guys, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like an Anderson TV. Say what? Matty boy. <laughs> Rebeo, Rebabes. How are you doing? <laughs> Rebabes. <laughs> um, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I think I'm up for this one. I'm up for this one. This is a, an ultimate budget sound like rig. What's our budget though? 500 pounds? Is, is there a budget? 500 pounds. 500 really? 500 pounds for guitar, amp, any pedals we need. Ultimate pounds. budget rig. Okay, but also, it's not that you can spend £500, it's the ultimate budget, then we have to spend as little as we can. Yeah, but the max we can yeah, spend is 500 That's going to be tough. Well, let's try That's it. It's going to be tough. All right. Guitars. Yeah. Guitars. So, right, we're going to have two rigs? Yeah. Right, so we want to kind of each go for something slightly different. Yes. So they mesh and are complementary. We are floating past the East Coast area. Yes, very, very affordable stuff. Yeah, a lot so of this is mega. From 99 quid, it seems. Same here, up to about 249. Yeah, I mean, that's really 249. So the semi hollows are 249. It looks like the yeah, sort of best types of really. 200 for kind of a, a Schecter looking type and thing. And 100 for a Strat type thing. Mm. Okay. Oh, what about the Les Paul style? Where, this one here. Uh, there you go. 199. 199. So about 200 pounds, which would leave us. Okay, so are we go and do we need pedals or are we go with amps with built in? It depends on your budget, Matthew. Well, you know what the budget is. The most is. value for mind, money, so. Bear in mind it's giggable, so I think we should stipulate if you get inbuilt effects, you have to be able to have a foot switch okay. to change it. Yeah, that I agree with. I'm going to go with this HSS East Coast. Straight in. I am. It's £99. The reason I've chosen HSS is because. What if we want to play some heavier stuff? Well, what if we want to play some blue stuff? Cool. So, well, do they, any of their humbucker guitars have coil splits? Is my question. Who knows? Uh, that's a big no. That is a, a resounding niner. Kind. Well, there's a T-type there. there if you is. want that. Oh, 120 quid. Perfect. Wow. Look at that. Back in black. How much have we spent here? 218 pounds. Oh man, yeah, 218 quid for two guitars. There you go. I'm not sold yet, but let's see. So I had second thoughts about the T-Type and found this, which is an Epiphone vintage edition, Les Paul special, in this kind of super cool, I don't know what you call it really, like a trans brownie vintage burst thing going on. It's all satin, satin neck, satin body, Made in China, £129. So I have chosen my guitar. We found ourselves in the lands of amps. Yeah, we have. There's a particular amp which might spring to mind when you're thinking of budget. I've bagsied it already. Really good. Yeah, so we had a little, a little fight already pre-filming. Beer has now bagged the guitar now. KT50, 190. So I'm going to get the Line 6 Spider, I think. Which is, no, not really. No, well, I'm going to get the... Um, I found this down here, which is a Fender Champion 50XL in black, which may just be loud enough to, to gig with. It also has inbuilt effects. What is that? Reverb. It's Fender's version of the guitar. Like, exactly, and I hear, I've not tried one of these, but I hear that it sounds excellente. Yeah, well, if you think about it, what is it, 99 plus 190 for me? Well, I'm on 190 as well. I've still plus got 120. I've still got a fair bit of cash left for pedals. But. Remember, it's not about spending the whole budget. This is true. So I could technically not need to get any pedals because they're all built into the Katana. And does the Katana come with a foot switch? It does, but you have to buy it separately. How much is it? The foot switch for the Katana is like 75 quid or something. You might as well just buy some of the pedals. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay, fine. Right, we got amps though, so that's good. I just looked up the price of the GAFC. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. C foot switch for the Boss KT50 or any KT series is 75, 79 pounds and you could argue that Tone City for example do pedals for around 40 pounds so I could get two for the price of the one foot switch. However, the foot switch opens up the full functionality of the Katana, meaning I can control all the built-in effects and 
channels and all that stuff. So I actually think it's better value to get that foot switch allowing me to control the Katana than it is to just get two extra strong boxes. And I would say that is ultimate budget rig for me. Right, so I've got my amp, got my guitar. I've got a foot switch by Fender, which is about 30 quid, which is actually quite a lot. It's a single button switch, which should let me change between channels, but does nothing else. So I can't change effects in the amp, even though it has inbuilt effects. So I'm going to use the inbuilt reverb, and I picked up this for another 30 quid, 38 pounds, which is TC Electronic, and this is the Echo Brain analog delay. And then I may or may not use it, but I have the Bad Horse by Tone City just to give it a kick if I need to. So let's go and see what it sounds like. And we're back in the video room. Yes, we are in this experimental budget adventure to sound as good as possible for as affordably as possible. I am actually really happy with the way the rigs sound. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a touch and go for a second there was in, it? in many respects. Yeah. Um, we've had to tweak things up a tiny bit, but overall, I'd say I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, I mean, so what I'll do now is just point out the fact that I went from using the KT50 to the KT100. So I've bumped up the, my budget by a little bit, but the reason being that the GAFC foot switch does not work with the KT50. Which is a shame, however, yeah. I think it was definitely still the right call to upgrade the amp and keep that. Yeah, because I've now got the value for money I was hoping for, I just thought it would be a little more affordable than it was, mm. if that makes sense. And also, Beer had the, um, the privilege of playing through some Nice preset patches on the on the katana. I did. I messed with them in, f later on into the excerpts, but the first couple were like, Pete's basically made some beautiful patches here, which will be available to download. I'm told. Yeah, you'll be able to get these patches yeah. um, for free. For, free. Yeah, for no monies whatsoever. <laughs> So I'll start with my rig. I'm using this wonderful East Coast EC slash GS100H slash BKM model. Um, it's a S-type HSS config with a trim system, which I didn't use, it with like a sparkly kind of black gloss finish. That's good. Um, I know that the, the fretboard they use is Purple Heart. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it dyed? Uh, no, it's just... Dark, oh, dark purple but it heart. is Purple Heart yeah. uh, fretboards. The, this is £99, and I'll be honest, up until this point in the past when we've done um, like for under £500, I've always used the Bullet Squire. Yeah, which is still very affordable. They were £115, yeah. £120. This is better than that Bullet Strat. There you go, big compliments. By a country mile. Yeah. On, on, two, on two accounts, two accounts. The playability and the tuning stability. And... It, it sounds also, good. It's also HSS, which the bullet is not. No, I think you could probably get an HSS bullet Fine, though. Okay. But it sounds great. But the, the way it plays and the fact it stays in tune is awesome. Yeah, and I think that's, we've said before, is the number one priority when you're spending kind of that budget. Yeah.
Uh, and then literally the rest of my rig is the Katana 100, which obviously we've used many a time and I still hold it as the best budget amp you can buy. Um, with the foot switch as well, it's just like, I mean, I can do pretty much anything with it now. So let me show you a couple of the old patch hairs that have been made here. This is the first one. Nice. I added to the chorus effect with my own chorus effect. Yeah, it was very undulating, I like that. Yeah, it was good. Um, that would be one of the sounds. The next sound is my current favorite. Amazing. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, the next sound here is a little funky number. Which is just basically a clean with a compressor. And this was my favorite, aside from the awesome octave one. Some. Ridiculous. And that's the 112 as well, isn't it? So yeah. Still sounds huge. I did add a couple of reverb and delay for some of the songs we did, and obviously it's got loads of boss effects and all the rest of it. And it's hitting the 4x12 down the back. <laughs> yeah. The 112 cab, it sounds massive. That's my rig. Great. Well, well how much did it cost? Well, the Katana 100 is 270 and the GAFC is 79 So it's 350 And this is 99 450 or just shy. So, not for bad. Yeah, and honestly, this guitar is fantastic. You know, you could argue you get the KT50 if you're not bothered about the foot switch and you, you save, you know, quite a bit. But also, the guitar was less than a quarter of the price of the whole rig. Yeah, really. Which that, that never happens. No, and hopefully, for, to you guys on the other end, it sounds great. Because in the room, like I say, I'm not struggling to play this guitar and it sounds wicked. So, nice. Really chuffed. Right, onto mine. I have this, which is an Epiphone Les Paul Special Vintage Edition, and I honestly love the way this guitar looks. This kind of satin burst thing going on here. It's totally, totally satin, black all the way through. Bolt on construction, made in China. No nonsense. Three-way blade, tone, volume, two humbuckers. It's a toggle switch, actually. I work for a guitar company, it's a, it's a blade. For it's, a blade. <laughs> <laughs> it's got this um, three-way, I don't know what they call these. I think it does something to do with pickups. I think you can sort of toggle between the sounds, but I don't know what the switch is called. You can toggle between them using the switch. But I don't know what the switch is called. Okay. Yeah. Sorry? Toggle switch. Oh, it's a toggle switch. It's a switch that can toggle. Like nah, that makes there. sense. Toggle yeah, switch. Cool. It's got a bridge, got a neck, got some tuners and generally looks badass, if you ask me. So the guitar goes straight into the Tone City Bad Horse, which is a clone clone, about 39, 40 pounds, so super affordable. Nice. Then into the TC Electronic Echo Brain, which is an analog delay, 38 pounds, I believe, so even more affordable. That goes into this, which is the Fender Champion 50XL, and that's a one by 12 solid state combo. Um, it has these built-in effects here, quite a lot of them actually. Um, there is reverb, chorus, flange, delay, and plus you can have like reverb and chorus, so there's quite a lot of options, which is awesome, but we were going for a gigable rig. Um, so unless I was gonna go back to my amp and start twiddling knobs is a bit of a challenge. So I thought I'd get these up front, and then where I wanted to, I've dialed in a bit of reverb and chucked in a bit of chorus. You also that's... got this great little yeah, this is the feature of my rig. This was 30, I think 31 pounds. This it's so is a, funny looking. <laughs> it's a little micro switch by Fender with a really long lead. Um, but what that enables me to do is change channels. So well worth the money. There you go. This is what it sounds like.
lot of reverb on there. What a sound though. Yeah, it sounds huge, sounds huge. So that's kind of my like classic Rocky type sound. Um, I can get a pretty nice clean tone as well. It's if really impressive the amount of power and like bigness, bigness, largeness, a little combo can make, you know. Honestly, yeah, for both of these, and it should come across at home, but. Sounds massive. Yeah, they both sound huge, especially mm. for that like, I don't know what you call it, like just a really nice, thick high gain tone. Yeah. Not really in the metal genre really, but just, you know, hard rock tone or something. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Beautiful. So yeah, really, really happy with this guitar. Uh, the one thing I would say is if you're going for a guitar in this price range, it might be worth considering whether you need a setup or not. Very true. Obviously, that's something that can be offered at Anderson's, but there's loads of guidelines online. Um, yeah. On that note, yeah, it's worth saying I did adjust the truss rod of this to even out the action a bit, because when I picked it up off the shelf, action was a bit high, but it was really easy to do. Just crank the truss rod, flatten it out, and it plays fantastic. So. That's it, that's it. And also, like, fresh strings, as these have been in the shop for a while, mm -hmm. um, fresh strings would help as well, so. Yeah, but overall, I mean, I'm, I think I'm even more budget than what, you. How much was yours? 189 plus 130, so that's 223.20, plus my little nip on the floor. 350. 350 plus 40 plus Four, 40. 430. So there you go. There is I guess £430. Ultimate budget rigs. And honestly, I think we've done some we've done quite a few uh, under 500 rigs before for specific artists. And I think when you haven't got the constraint of trying to sound exactly like someone, yeah. It's almost easier because we I, I found this being under budget has been a lot easier this time. Yeah. I agree. Although I would still say that these rigs would still sound like a lot of artists. Well, this one in particular, yeah, could probably sound like all of them in the sense that you've got hundreds of boss effects in there. Yep. And if you hook the computer up and you design patches, yep. for example, let's say we were doing Guns N' Roses, yep. I could design all the patches in there with the right chorus for things like you know, um, Paradise City, for example. Mm. You could do it all in there and for this price range. But the thing is, for you guys on YouTube, it kind of takes the fun out of it if every time we were to do a under 500 we used the same rig and just design patches to go with it so yeah and i think in for my rig in particular i mean you obviously went for a katana it could have been very easy for me to go for I took katana the easy as well i took the yeah. easy route but if we'd gone for two it would have been a bit like more predictable but yeah. yeah i'm 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 happy i went on a bit of a limb and it sounds great yeah well we hope you enjoyed this episode of sound like ultimate budget rig Yes, let us know how you think we did and what you thought to our little make makeup songs in different genres. Um, all the links to all the gear is in the description box below. And that leaves us with only one small thing to say, Matt. It is, Rabia. I've been Matt. And I've been Rabia. And this has been Sound Like on Anderson's TV. <laughs> See you later. I also um, have this little accessory here. <laughs> <laughs> This little nipple. <laughs> Just, is that the, the, the teat of Fender that we all suck on? <laughs> Keeps us alive. I'm not going to do it. It's got a grip there for your teeth. The loving teat of Fender. <laughs> the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. <laughs>